First of all, welcome to the stream. What I wanted to do today was first talk about, I got a question on one of my videos, actually one of my more popular videos. It's called like, how much should I invest into Robin Hood or to, into Acorns or, or something like that. Anyways, the a gentleman commented on there and was asking or had said, you know, the, it's, it says that the returns could potentially like happen or whatever like that. Like it's, it says that the returns are not guaranteed. And uh, I don't know specifically why the comment was there because he does use Robin Hood. So mad props to you for that. I think it, it was used as like, a, I, I, when I, when I seen the comment, I seen like fear and like, oh, well then that means I shouldn't as best invest as much or uh, that means that I maybe shouldn't be as aggressive with my investments or something along those lines. First of all, with, with Acorns, Acorns I feel like does a pretty good job at recommending a, a good portfolio for you. If you do answer those questions that they ask uh, truthfully, as far as it goes with risk and the market, he was he had asked later on. He's like, so do I have the potential to lose my own money? And I was like, yeah. I mean, for I think for a season, if your focus is 30 years from now, which is which would be long, real long term, then a market that that drops your account by 20% is not not that big of a deal at all. I think that he was talking about like losing $30 or something like that. And unfortunately right now, we are still kind of like in this correctional state. Investing goes, there could be some wish wash and volatility and that kind of thing. I know when I invested in 2016 in Acorns, I really didn't have much of an issue with generating returns quickly because we were in a, a bull market for the most part. But I think my, my whole entire philosophy and whole like viewpoint with investing was to continue focusing on the long term and to make sure that those regular deposits hit, those roundups are getting withdrawn from my account on the, on the regular, like and it wasn't something that I was gonna turn off because of how I felt that day or if I was read that day that I was gonna continue to just re repeat the same thing over and over and over and over again. So. I guess my encouragement to you would be that yes, there are going to be market fluctuations. That does happen. Uh, but I think the more important thing is to keep your eyes on what the long term will look like 30 years from now. How often do we look at the short term and like, well, this is not going to really work out the short term because honestly, we love to seek short term gratification uh, in real life. We hate training for um, races, especially like running races, athletic events, so like we hate the the delayed gratification that comes with training with anything that, that takes a while to succeed at. So I would say struggle and work and change your mindset, discipline yourself in order to make that happen. Anyways guys, it's been a real, thanks for watching. If you would like, feel free to join my live stream every weekday. It's either in the morning around the opening or at night around like seven, eight o'clock. Uh, but it's been real. Coach Keith signing off. Thank you for watching. Peace, love, no. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate it.